Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a makeup video. Super excited about this. Um, it's kind of my new day-to-day -day look that I've been doing that is very, very natural. And I mean very natural. I'm just gonna use concealer, a tiny, tiny bit of foundation, the littlest bit of powder, and then just mascara. And yeah, that's it. So um, let's get started. All right, so what I'm gonna be using is Hourglass New Vanish Concealer. I have just completely fallen in love with this concealer. It's completely seamless and very, very long lasting. I mean, I tell you, I put this on in the morning, go out about my business, run around, do whatever I want, and it just stays in place. It's really nice. The colors are very creamy and just, I just love it. So I'm gonna show you how I use this product. Um, I have two different colors here. I kind of play around with both depending on uh, what I'm doing or my skin tone. So I have a lighter one here. This one is in the shade Flax. And then this one is in maple and this one's a little bit more warm so i think just for under my eyes right now i'm going to use the flax color all right so let's go in with the concealer again i'm using flax and this vanish concealer is full coverage and also has such a seamless finish and it's pretty pigmented so all you really need is those three cute dots. Then I'm gonna take this brush. It is also by Hourglass. And um, I love this brush. Maybe my new favorite concealer brush because it's super dense. So when you're pushing in the product to your skin, it really gives you that airbrushed finish. So in here, I really like to focus my concealer mostly on this inner corner to brighten under the eyes, you know, when you're looking a little tired and need a little help under the eyes, it's always good to really brighten into that under corner. I mean, it almost has this blurring effect um, and that comes from the microspherical powders that are inside this concealer. It really gives that smooth and even like I said, blur effect to your under eyes so that there's no creases and um, it's super long lasting. Like I said, I can leave the house in the morning and come back home, I have no creases, the concealer has stayed there and I'm still looking fresh. All right, so once I've done that with that shade under my eye, um, I'm gonna go in with that other tone and just add like maybe a dot to warm it up a tiny, tiny bit. All right, so the other color is called Maple, and this one has such a beautiful, warm, and creamy tone to it. Um, concealer, foundation, any kind of liquid colors that come in makeup make me so happy. When I see a beautiful brown tone, I'm just like, oh my God, you just wanna eat it. So this color is like heaven. So I'm just gonna add like a little bit there, a little bit there. Again, a little goes a long way. And I'm just going to blend this in. And you see, it just kind of gives you that little bit of warmth that I needed. For being a full coverage concealer, it feels very weightless. Um, which I love because on days where I don't really want to have a lot of makeup on, this is the perfect thing because then you don't feel it. All right, so now that I've completely concealed under my eyes and it's looking super gorgeous and smooth, I'm just gonna get in there a little bit. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and cover like any little spots that I have. I have and two here um, with the same concealer. And then with my handy dandy brush. 
I really love just being able to spot conceal so that you can really um, still get that skin texture um, and not really look like you're wearing too much. Now I'm actually gonna go in with one of my other favorites. It is the Vanish Foundation Stick. This one is Warm Almond. And I also have this one, which color is this? This is Golden Amber. So Golden Amber is a little bit lighter and Warm Almond is a bit more warm. <laughs> um, but just for today and for this video, I thought it'd be nice to add a little bit of this just to kind of give me a little bit of shape here a little bit under here and fill in any different kind of like skin tone variations that i have with this one so i'm just going to tap this one like this and literally use the smallest amount and just buff it in to really complete my skin like that it just really evens everything up i love it and i never like to um have a huge contrast between my under eye and here so with any brush that i'm finishing up my look with i'll go ahead and just kind of like press it all in so that it all blends nicely together. So now I'm going to go in with the darker shade and I'm just going to use this on my cheeks to warm it up. I always have to add a little bit of shape to my face. Like I can't go without a tiny bit of contour. So it's really nice that I have these different shades of these foundations that I'm able to do that with. Alrighty, we are all concealed and put a little bit of foundation, but not a lot. So now I'm just going to add a little bit of translucent powder under the eye and um, a little around here and on my chin, just so you can see what it really looks like when it's all put together. Alright, so I just put a little bit of translucent powder under my eyes, around my nose, and a little bit on my chin here and just like a quick swipe on my forehead. And um, to finish it off, I always, always, always have to wear mascara. So I'm going to be putting a little bit of mascara on just on the outer corners of my eye. All right, so I am feeling super airbrushed and very weightless and glowy and I mean, I'm just totally, totally in love with these concealers. I highly, highly recommend them. And one thing that I absolutely love um, about Hourglass and these concealers is that it is cruelty-free and also vegan. So cheers to that. I hope you guys liked this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe because a new upload is coming on Thursday. So I will see you then. Bye.